Hey you guys, this is my 30 weeks pregnant. Um, as of today, I am 30 weeks and three days. Yeah, 30 weeks and three days. Um, it's nothing really been too new um, going on. Um, there were a few things that are still happening that I forgot to mention in my week 29 video because I was so thinking about whatever else was going on that day. But um, I'm still out of breath, as you can tell. Um, I know in my last video, I was kind of like <sighs> a lot. And I still do that just to catch my breath because it's just harder to breathe. I also noticed that it's harder for me to um, breathe and catch my breath right after I finish eating. Well, or like a few minutes after I finish eating, like 15, 20 minutes after I finish eating. It's really, really hard for me to... um breathe i'm always like <sighs> like i ran up a flight of stairs or something um i spoke to my doctor about that because it seems like i've been having appointments like every week or every other week um but um she just said it's because the diaphragm is now smushed you know into a smaller area because the baby is um taking up so much and moving um so many of my organs so she said that's completely normal um i'm starting to get lightheaded again it's really really weird you know um before i i did get lightheaded within my first trimester up until about four months pregnant um i was getting lightheaded dizzy feeling faint um and stuff like that feeling really hot um, I found out that was because of my anemia and I wasn't taking my iron pills nor were I taking my prenatals because I hadn't found any that I could keep down yet. But um, ever since I found the prenatals and my doctor prescribed me iron pills that I could keep down, I haven't had any problems. So it's weird that now I'm starting to have those problems again. It hasn't happened as often as it did in my first trimester, but it's definitely happened maybe two or three times within the past month um also i've been getting acid reflux and um heartburn all that gross disgusting stuff um like i'm burping a lot and it's not even like gas burp it's like i don't know like mm, i don't know it's just i don't know like a disgusting burp like I'll, it, it comes like within here or something and yeah all this stuff comes up like throw up or vomit whatever you want to call it comes up that's really disgusting um my auntie told me to take tums i've been doing that but to me tums are so disgusting i do not like the taste of them i got the um assorted flavors one i don't like any of those they're really disgusting to me and even though i've been taking them i don't really feel like they make a difference so i'll probably just give those to her and just deal with it for the rest of my pregnancy um what else um i have an ultrasound scheduled for about a week away from now i'm really excited because i haven't had an ultrasound since i was 19 weeks you know so um at this point in time when i go to my next ultrasound i will be 32 weeks the day of my ultrasound so i'm really 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 excited um to see her again i want to find out if she's um you know if she's turned in my last doctor's appointment just from you know feeling her the doctor said said it felt like um she was upside down but you know, the only sure way we would know is by the ultrasound. So I really hope that she has turned. Um, I'm really scared of having a breached baby because I'm scared of a C-section. Um, I've never, ever, ever, ever had a surgery. And I kind of don't want to have a C-section. I would rather just do it the normal way, if well, um, natural way, if possible. Um, if I have to get a C-section, hey, whatever it takes, you know, to make sure my baby's fine. But I would, I really pray to God that everything works out to where I can have a natural delivery. Um, 
Now, when I say natural, I don't mean no drugs, but I do mean, you know, vaginal birth. Um, I do plan on <laughs> um, giving an epidural. I, I have heard that um, labor pains are no joke. Only way I won't get an epidural is if it happens so fast. If I go into labor so fast and by the time I get to the hospital, it's just way too late to get one because she's like pretty much here. Then, hey, that is awesome. Um... But that would be the only way I won't do drugs. Um, <laughs> gosh, I sound like a, um, like like I'm talking about something else and not labor. Anyway, um, what else? Oh, uh, I don't know. I think that was all I pretty much left out um, from the last video that I did. Like I said, there's there's not much new going on um i've gained another pound according to um you know what what my doctors told me so i've gained in total 31 pounds um i'm i'm definitely feeling it i i see it in my face my face is much more filled out like <laughs> you know but it's it's okay you know it is what it is um I'm definitely ready to have this baby, you know, and start back working out because right before I got pregnant, um, I was on it heavy, like real heavy because I was ready to get fine for the summer. You know, I was going to, I had aspirations of doing modeling again. So I was trying to get my body fit, you know, just right. And lo and behold, I ended up pregnant and, um, actually um someone told me I, i'm not sure how true this was you know but someone told me that when you change your diet and you eat healthier and you start exercising and you lose a good amount of weight um in a short period of time or you gain a good amount of weight in a short period of time it it can um age you in getting pregnant so they were telling me that it's possible that that could be part of the reason why I got pregnant. Like I said, I don't know how true that is, but I was like, Ooh, that's kind of cool, you know. But yeah, so um, I guess I'm going to do belly shots. I'm still going to do that tour of what I have um, so far. I have two baby showers coming up next month in October. So, uh yeah i definitely have to make some room but anywho here is my belly shot for week 30. Ugh. i refuse to wear maternity clothes so um maternity clothes are not cute they're just not so that's why you may see me in like the same three pairs of jeans if I'm ever wearing jeans. Most of the time on my off days, I wear uh, dresses. And I do this little rubber band trick with my jeans. They're, they're really stretchy, you see. But I don't like to button them. So I just do the little rubber band trick. My baby gave me hips. I ain't have all that before. She gave me hips, still no booty. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm getting out there. Um. I feel like with clothes on though, I don't look pregnant. I feel like I just look like I have a good with clothes on. Um, see, this is like my whole frame and I just feel like I look like I have a good, I don't feel like I look like I'm pregnant, you know? And it's really, <laughs> it's crazy because, um, like I said, I'm at a new store and um, just 
yesterday just yesterday um one of the ladies found out i was pregnant she's like oh, you're what what well how far are you and i told her i was seven and a half months she was like where is the baby you know and it's funny because a lot of people you know say that they don't think that i'm pregnant they just think that i have like a gut and <laughs> um i kind of hate that a little bit too because um sometimes at my job um there are times when we have to lift and things of that nature and you know i have to call someone to you know come lift heavier things for me i can't lift and then it's like the the person that i may call over you know to help me sometimes if they don't know they'll look at me like why can't you do it you know and it's like i have to it's i get tired of um explaining that i'm pregnant you know i, I wish people just knew like i wish i just showed you know so that way it wouldn't be any questions asked no smart comments no crazy looks and whatever else but that's a whole nother video so this is week 30 i will see you guys I'm actually getting ready to do another video on an um, update of how i feel about my pregnancy so see you then